to the trustees of the Fiji Women and Maritime Association, President Jane Quay, the Executive Committee of Fiji Women, distinguished guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we not had a very, very good morning to all of you. I'm actually pleased to be here today to celebrate with you an international day in a very, very important industry. An industry that has stood the test of time, and most importantly, we're actually celebrating the contribution of women in the maritime sector. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2021, the IMO adopted a resolution recognizing this day to be the International Day for Women in Maritime. And as IMO had stated, uh, to be a day it was to be a day to celebrate women in the industry, promote the recruitment, retention, and sustained employment of women in the maritime sector also to raise the profile of women in the maritime and strengthen IMO's commitment to sustainable development for five and support work to address the current gender imbalance in maritime. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to say that Fiji co-sponsored this paper in, the, in the IMO for the adoption of the resolution and also wholeheartedly supported the recognition of this international day. It is a privilege for me to be able to gather and to celebrate with the many women in Maritime. The theme, as you all know, is training, visibility, recognition, supporting a barrier-free working environment. As internationally recognized this year, aptly describes the vision of the Fijian government when it comes to giving women equal opportunities in all fields. Ladies and gentlemen, having recently celebrated International Women's Day, but actually reminded of our personal and organizational responsibility for breaking the bias. All through the pandemic, women have actually led various roles as community leaders, as our health heroes, as church leaders, as businesses, business leaders, and as national leaders. Today, as the Minister responsible for maritime transport, I actually join global leaders in maritime to salute and to pay tribute to our women who have toiled to contribute to the maritime sector being an important part of our nation, as you all know. We have women seafarers here with us today. And thank you, thank you for all that you've done to keep us connected, especially through our islands here in Hong as you all know, GSS falls under our ministry. The government shipping services here in Fiji has more than 150 staff, of which 5% are actually women. And we are very proud to have a woman who is actually the lead person in that particular division. And the director responsible also for both land and for maritime transport, Francis Kiribati. We are actually above, ladies and gentlemen, we are above the international benchmark. For over three decades, the International Maritime Organization has supported gender equality through women in maritime programs and mainstreaming gender through training, visibility, recognition. Ladies and gentlemen, the IMO is taking the lead in empowering women through the programs offered at educational institutions, such as the world Maritime University and IMO International Maritime Law Institute, where 50% of its placements are offered for women to study and upgrade their skills and knowledge. Here in the region, the Pacific Women in Maritime Association have played an instrumental role in supporting women in the Pacific. Following similar footsteps, the Fiji Women in Maritime Association has actually held several workshops and training sessions supporting aspiring Fijian women in the maritime sector to be catalysts for change. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fiji Women held an inaugural women program on project management funded by the USA climate change uh, during the COVID-19 lockdown. The program had achieved a 100% pass rate and 
that's extremely exceptional. So well done to the graduates. Fiji Women's Work has actually gone unnoticed, not gone unnoticed, in the launch of a Western Standing Committee to support its, uh, its work nationally, hosting leadership workshops, awareness, and prevention training on sexual harassment in the workplace. Two students were empowered in recent virtual placement with the University of Fiji to become active members of the association, and a milestone achievement for, the, for Fiji women in the industry. Ladies and gentlemen, whilst there is still a gender imbalance in maritime, we are actually recognizing the diversity, the diversity within the industry. This diversity holds advantages for the entire industry, an industry made stronger by each individual irrespective of gender. So today, we are creating a maritime industry for all. We envisage and we see more women joining the industry and holding prominent roles. So to the confident young women within our presence this morning, this is your break. Fully harness the opportunities you have, ladies and gentlemen. It would be remiss of me if I did not mention the achievement of Fijian women in maritime and accord them the recognition that they deserve. As such, today we will be presenting six awards, as mentioned earlier, to women who have made a significant contribution in the Fijian maritime sector. The awards will recognize women who have excelled in the following categories, such as Ambassador Award, the Mentorship Award, the Trailblazer STEM Award, Outstanding Lifetime Achievement Award, Excellence Award, and Exemplary Response to COVID-19 Award. Ladies and gentlemen, coming back to today's celebration, Today is the genesis. The genesis for ensuring women become more visible throughout the maritime community and the sector overall with wider representation at the decision-making levels. Let's work together and overcome barriers to create a work environment that is inspiring and encouraging and inclusive of a multi-faceted involvement by all. So with those few words, ladies and gentlemen, I hope and I pray that you are all an inspiration to many, many other women that need to join the industry. And it's not just for the maritime industry. I urge all the others, all the other institutions that are involved to ensure that we have equal participation for our women in this country. So with those few words, I want to wish you all a happy International Day for women Congratulate the awardees on their contributions and their achievements. Thank you very much. Now,